The Crude Life with host Jason Spies. My name is Jason Spies and this is the Crude Life Daily Update. On today's episode, we talk with Terry Edom. He's an energy writer for the BOE Report and the author of The End of the Fossil Fuel Insanity. In just a moment, part of our exclusive interview with Terry Edom, right here on the Crude Life Daily Update. Jason Spies, the most trusted voice in the Bakken. I totally agree with you, and the word that you brought into this is fact. You tell the facts, and then you let people make up their own minds. If you want someone who's competent, you don't want to get a bunch of rookies. Love listening to Jason Spies on the radio, and if I miss him there, I catch him online. Let's bring in Jason Spies, who is a multimedia journalist in North Dakota. Um, Jason, what's your thought on this? No one does an interview like Jason Spies. Welcome back to the Crude Life Daily Update. My name is Jason Spies. Up next, Terry Edom, energy writer for the BOE Report and the author of The End of the Fossil Fuel Insanity. If you take all of the iPhones that they won't live without are their cell phones, what's the, what's the environmental footprint of a cell phone? A cell phone has 78 elements on the periodic table out of 118. They come from every corner of the earth and they're found and they're mined and they're processed and they're transported and then refined and then reassembled the, the footprint of these things is enormous so to single out the energy industry who's provi- who's making all this happen it, it's just too absurd for words really if you uh, go through and look at the rare earth elements and the um, yeah a lot of rare components that go into it just trace elements but they're all necessary i assume they're necessary that's why they're in there yeah Um, it's shocking and and where it all comes from and if anyone was to i'd like to see someone sit down and piece together the environmental footprint of a single cell phone and and that would be just astonishing i think that would be amazing actually and i'm surprised somebody hasn't done that yet well yeah well you know a lot of people aren't interested in even talking about that it's the same thing as um uh, all of the, the United Nations and the International Panel on Climate Change or whatever, um, they're, they're, they fill our ears relentlessly about the evils of fossil fuels. But have a look at where all of their conferences are held. They're held in Mexico. They're held in um, Australia. They're held in Peru. They're held in Poland. They, they, they fly every exotic location you can think of. The middle of the Pacific Ocean in Mauritius, some little island I hadn't even heard of, they go to some tropical resort there to have a climate change conference. And it's like, are you, are you people trying to mock us? That's what it seems like to me, because they show no regard for limiting consumption, but they're, they're more than willing to attack the people that put the fuel in the planes that keep them in the air, which to a lot of us, just does, is, it's just nonsensical, but that's what they do. So. To listen to the full-length interview with Terry Edom, energy writer for the BOE Report and an author of The End of the Fossil Fuel Insanity, visit thecrudelife.com. That's thecrudelife.com. Be sure to follow, subscribe, and like our social media pages. Over 350,000 followers we have at the Crude Life Media Network. Go to thecrudelife.com and click on our social media tab and subscribe today. From the staff at the Crude Life Daily Update, my name is Jason Spies asking you to keep calm and frack on.